Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Huang Shao Let's Play. We pick it up for episode 11 from turn 53 in the winter season of the year 200. So last episode we became ascended and all of a sudden three kingdoms popped out all over the map. Uh, thankfully, the kingdom of Yan, uh, led by Gong Sun Zan, somehow likes us to the point where he offered us a trade agreement, and we were able to trade away a few pieces of his territory to give us a little base in the northern side of the Yellow River. Uh, we also made our first aggressive move uh, into attacking Yuan Shao. Now, the reason for this is because we believe that Gong Sun Zan will leave us alone, so we don't have to be holed up here and not have our uh, basically one of our best armies on the field right now wasted away uh, basically we have this army pushing forward uh, to Hene farmland we did battle with one full retinue with two uh, captain retinues uh, not that strong but they also had a huge garrison from the farmland uh, which was level three so we fought a lot of men uh, now we discover that Yuan Tan and uh, let's see Xun Yu over here both are, have armies that could potentially reach us so things could get a little testy during this end turn i don't know where to put this army um i think we're just gonna have them stay put to hopefully draw this group down the river uh that way they won't go attack us here we're not very strong right now we're just very injured um down south uh, well actually out here in the western front we have our main army of huang shao uh, take, he just took down one full army from uh, Yuan Shu, uh, but there's another army right behind with a tribuche, so this is also going to be a battleground very soon. And down south, we're retreating our army uh, back to Guangling, the small city, because although we took back the farmland, Sun Ce has sailed across the river himself along with Huang Gai with a full army. And Lady Wu even recruited uh, herself out over here as well with Li Dian. So this is quite a strong army coming into our small city. So we're going to need help soon here as well. Though things look pretty rough uh, as we are in alliance war with most of the south. We're also in a war uh, to our western front against both Yuan brothers. So we're going to finish up our turn by building our buildings. And then we can continue uh, fighting these wars. Okay, here in Dong, not really a major development site. I'm just sort of looking for who has the assignment to see who has the best deals right now. Uh, Dong Hai, we're probably just going to build out some more income. Yeah, let's build this one up. Long Ya. Long Ya is really just the farmland right now. Doesn't have any assignment, so we can wait a little bit. Pengchun is our capital, technically, quote-unquote capital. Um, we can build this building, or actually we need to build a forge here for the replenishment. Speaking of forges, we also need a forge in Guangling ASAP. Uh, I can wait for now. Hene, we're not developing because we might lose it in the future. And Taishan, are we really going to upgrade this? That's kind of the goal. It's kind of... That's not really why we... Okay, I guess we don't have to. We can just keep it as it is. We're not doing so hot in terms of economy. We can spend our money elsewhere. Um, this is faster. Alright, we're going to go with this building. Over here, we'll just get some more food. I don't think we have the level 5 upgrade reform yet. Yeah, we don't. Lumberyard. Yeah, I'll get the food first. All right, spend our money away. Let's end turn and see how our battlefield re uh, evolves. Oh dear. Okay, so they double teamed us here in the farmland. This is what we wanted to avoid. I don't know how we can win this. We'll try. But definitely not confident here. Uh, the only concern right now is the healer. Uh, she doesn't have resiliency. The other two generals already have resiliency on their armor. Their armor got upgraded. So they will be fine. 
We'll just try to inflict as much damage as we can. Yeah, not much help from the retinues. Yeah, this army is tough. Saber cavalries. Okay, let's try it. Alrighty, we loaded up to the battle here. Reinforcements coming from there. Our best shot is to not get flanked. I mean, we're in the snow. We can pull some distance and just fight in this corner. Our trebuchets have nine shots on them. One of them must have burnt. Shuyo might be the one who has it. Anyways, we don't have much ammo. We can only hope to do as much damage as we can with our retinues. The army will get wiped afterward. Which means resummoning her will be super pricey. Because that's like rehiring this entire group. She doesn't have Unbreakable. If she had Unbreakable, she could have it, but she's not high enough level. We don't have the skill. But if she had Unbreakable, we can drag this fight out. We can defend for 40 minutes. She'll have recovery. Hmm. It's tempting. It's kind of tempting. But I feel like the second our uh, retinue falls, our generals will just rout. There's this four units each. This is really, I can't do anything with them. Hmm. Well, our front line's relatively healthy, to be honest. Alright, not much to think about. There's really not much we can do to win this one. But we can try to inflict as much damage as we can. Alright, they're approaching us right away. We could back off a little bit. Maybe to this hilltop. We have the time for it. Does any of them want to duel us? This one. Yuan Tan. I am willing to take a duel. It'll help us with the morale situation as well. Hmm. Not sure if they're willing to duel. Not visible doesn't mean they're willing to duel. Oh, she's willing to duel. Yeah, we'll take this duel. I mean, we don't have... We don't have recovery, but... I feel like we have a good chance if we do... Wait, why did, why did he get left behind? I thought I selected everyone. Alright, we got time. No worries. I mean, if she's really willing to duel... I'm down for it. They say we're equal.
right? She's also encouraged with wipe her out. That would help with the morale situation a little bit. Okay. We're gonna go for that duel. Doesn't want a duel. Yuan Tan is that strong? He can stay here. His um, ability to disorient can be very helpful. Come out. I want to duel you. Yeah, the outnumbered issue is going to be a problem. He doesn't want to duel. What about Yuan Tan? Gotta make our shots count. No, they don't want to duel. Uh, Rumbun. Alright. I'll wait a little bit. Come out. Come out of hiding. Okay. Fire. And then stop. One shot's good. Just gonna get her into range, barely into range. And then we'll issue the duel. There we go. That way we pull her to the side. Stop shooting. Let's see. The terrain's helping us a little bit. It's clustering them up. Alright, she's in the duel. Splash damage. How are we doing here? Not great, and surrounded by cavalry, so that's not good. This spot is pretty good, though. Let's get another shot on that. Now, Warrior of Ye is not that strong. There's no um, range block chance on those guys. I think we lose this one. Yeah. We're going to go out and disorient all these uh, spear units so they don't come up to our line. One, two, three. Three, everyone freeze. She's losing. We could pull her out. Just have her run. All right. Come back behind the line. Our, our tribuches are done. Time for our front line to do the fighting. Let's try our best against this first wave. Alright, out of ammo. These guys can go fight. Cavalry, loop out. Alright. 
Go fight. Alright, we'll have him chase him. No one wants to duel. Everyone's gonna die. This is the time to just fight it out. Let's try to kill her. Actually, you stay here. Alright, we're getting routed hard. Yeah, morale's going down big time. Maybe we can try to stop the route with a disorient, but I'm not sure that would actually help. Alright, don't flee. Fight. Get some shots in. Yeah, our morale is just dropping super fast. Alright, we killed one. We're getting routed real hard. Yeah, just not a fight we were going to win. Now they're both... Yeah, that's it. We made our stand. Once our unit routed, we weren't going to win this one. Down we go. Mm. She died. I thought she had resiliency. Maybe captured and executed? Okay. Alright, so we're getting attacked in the farmland as well in Guangling uh, by Lady Wu's force. Uh, we don't even have a full retinue, so there's really not point fighting this. Alright, so our healer was killed in battle. And yep, our uh, scholar was executed. That makes sense. And uh, Guanghai was released. Interesting. Uh, we lost the farmland Henei, and we also lost the farmland Guangling. They also... Oh, they're now in an alliance war against Gongdu, and they're also in a joint war against Heyi. So it seems like the three kingdoms, instead of fighting each other, are making their moves against us yellow turbans. Very well. This is our first basic challenge since we started the game. Very exciting. So our northern expansion is halted. Completely halted. Vanshaw has held his ground. We need to basically form up a new army. Our main army here is doing well. Um, can't complain about this one. We could upgrade these a little bit and change these later once we have the shock cavalries. We also need to recruit a new army to fight on the field. I'm not sure if we should actually fight over Pingyuan. Pingyuan might be lost because of that defeat. Uh, we'll think about how to develop things a little bit later. Let's first decide what to do with the rest of the map. That's expensive. We need to save money now. We need to spend a good amount of cash on a full army. They really need a forge. Because Sun Tzu is coming. Alright, we're going to hide right behind the city. And ambush right here. 
The retinues really need to recover soon. They can't reach us in one turn. We'll give off the appearance of pretty weak, but then have the retinue behind. So we hopefully draw one of them over here while the other one go for the fishing port. We need to finish up our battle here. Potentially wipe out Yuan Shu, or at least beat Yuan Shu back to the point where he will sign a peace treaty with us. Which shouldn't be that hard. We can definitely defend this. We just need to summon a new army here. Now Guanhai's army is expensive. We might not, we could just not use him. We could use another general. Well, someone died, so you have the spear. Mm, I think we'll still summon him. He has night battle. He's the most e well equipped. We need to find another fortune teller. He's level one, though. Do we have a level two fortune teller at least, or a level three? Ooh, level three fortune teller. Okay, we'll summon him. And then we're also looking for a brewer builder or, okay, Jay Carver. Someone who is higher level. Level three, level two is the highest one we have. Level three, uh, that's a farmer though. Not as good. He is on the field already, okay. So it would be, it would have to be her. Chen Cheng Cheng An Shan Shang Cheng An Shang. Dong Ri Zhe Fu, Chun Ji Xing Dong. All right, we have two choices. One, we can be a little bit conservative and just pull the army over here. Uh, it'll also mean we might lose the city here or we can pull army here and be safe from attack oh we killed her oh oh I mean resiliency popped her all right this is a weak army altogether about three armies all right, we'll try to hold this. Let's see, who do we pick out? He's our fortune teller. And then we also picked out Cheng. Okay. Well, she has a mixed retinue. That just means we, record, we recruited her from the fort. Uh, the the pool, not the fort. The... Okay. Man, all those archery masters died. We'll go with archers, just because we don't have money right now. We can afford two spear. Maybe we need to cancel some buildings. Yeah, the farm can't wait. All right. All right, so we still have a defensive force in the north. We're waiting for a counterattack here. We're hanging on by a thread here. The fishing port maybe could defend for itself if it's not Sun Tzu's army. Actually, we can't defend against either one. Sun Tzu's army is actually not as good as this one. This one's a lot of shield here. Let's wipe out Yuan Shu first. One enemy at a time. We're going to drag them a little bit closer so they can join the fight. Yeah, we get reinforcements. Uh, they ran. That's That's the wrong move. 
能这样做。诸位盟士，随我征战。They should have fought in that、um, encampment. Hmm. Can I fight this cleanly on the battlefield? I probably can. They have a trebuchet, so I don't know if they will actually march towards me. And if they don't march towards me, it could get a little tricky. Hmm. Yeah, we probably don't need to delegate this. We can we fight this one. It'll be cleaner. We'll be more full heal to deal with whatever comes next. All right, we're loaded up in here.、Um, I want. I prefer if they move closer towards us. That way, our tribuchet are not just exchanging fire with their tribuchet at the beginning. So hopefully, it'd be something like this, and then we can rush our generals over to wipe out their tribuchets first.、Uh, two of our generals have、uh, recovery, so they can charge over with no problem. They don't have to worry about getting picked off or losing too much health. I don't actually think they have any cavalry, so we're just gonna lay them out flat. Not gonna be flanked by anything. We're not gonna forget our cavalry this time, because、uh, we did that last time. I'm、uh, gonna put them on the side for our flanking maneuver. Pansha will stay with the line, wait for the other two generals, and we will go snipe down their tribuchet. All right, let's go. Are they gonna move forward? The general's moving forward by herself. Okay. Huh. Uh. I mean, sure. We are definitely stronger. They're not moving up, so Pei Shao can come debuff the enemy general. Oh, they're coming up! Wow, all of a sudden. These two guys need to get over here quickly. All right. Our great leader, don't die. Charge. Are winning easily here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save her ability to win. Uh, she gets out of the duel because she'll be in trouble right away, and she can lower one unit's morale. Ooh, fireballs! Not bad, not bad. I don't even know if we need to give her the debuff. She's gonna win regardless. All right, good job. We might as well debuff everyone around us. There we go. All right, we turn back to the line. No,、oh, we're gonna ignore him for now. Our job is to kill this these guys. Destroy one. Nice. All right, now is the time to use this after we. Can't get to our horse. Assuming that, get out of our way. Get out of our way. If we can get on our horse, it's fine. Get on. Perfect. All right. Go back. All right. They're firing their tribuchet at us. All right, they're crushing the tribuchets. They're still firing. Okay, wipe them out. One last one. She can charge this. All right, this is where we use this, and then make them route right away. All right, now we kill him. All right, we're behind enemy line. Charger archers.、Oh, we're okay. We don't need to use any of these. We'll wait till they get closer to use that one. All 
Alright, let's kill Yuan Yao real quick. So I receive intel that this is Yuan Shu's son, so no incest here. Alright, counter charge. Alright, we're good. He's still not dead? Alright, don't let him run away. We want to kill him. There we go. Kill the trebuchet. Kill the archer. And then we'll kill the strategist last. Actually, no. You stay on that. You stay there. Nice easy win. Kill them all. Who's running away? Spear guards? Spear guards first. Alright, we're just going to chase for a bit, kill everyone else that's on the map, and that's pretty much it. See you guys at post-battle screen. Alrighty, Yuan Shu's army was no trouble. We killed everyone, literally. There's, uh, even the resiliency pop. I think she's still alive. Alright, we get a new recruit. Gotta make up for those lost souls. She leveled up to level 5. Oh, uh, what do we need on her? Melee damage, melee armor piercing. This is not what we need. Replenishment is good, but I think we're currently running at 50%. Oh, uh, 41. Close enough. Hmm. She's not ideal. If she was a fortune teller, it would have been much better. We could build her to be a cavalry group. Yeah, we don't need any of that. So we could go get armor and then go get charge speed plus mighty knockback on the general and then build her into a cavalry officer. Let's do that. She's also becoming uh, legendary because of that. That's nice. She is a fortune teller. This could be a really good army in the future. They don't have to follow us around eventually. We can just, once they get enough level, they can run their own show. But right now, since they're not on the battlefield, we should just get these uh, boosting ones. Alright, this army... I think we can get a peace deal with them next turn. Uh, just because the shift in pow power should have moved even more in our favor. Uh, destroying them completely doesn't actually help us. They have one territory. If we take it, what will happen is that Cao Cao will be bordering us here, and then we'll have him to the north as our neighbor, both of which we don't want to see. If we trust our two groups up here, we should go south and take care of Cao Cao and Sun Ce, which to me, seems like a bigger threat. Alright. We got a little bit of extra cash from that fight, so we could technically build some of the buildings we had to give up because we had to recruit that army. We basically gave up uh, farmland, if I remember correctly. But none of them are boosted, so it doesn't really matter, actually. Maybe we can just save the money. Yeah, we should probably just save the money at this point. It's probably going to be a lot of fighting going on. We might need to recruit like a, another army on the field. Maybe in Pengcheng because it's cheaper. It has the headquarter all the way to level 4. 
recruit a new army to defend while we send them down? Hmm. That is a possibility here. Jade Carver, healthy. Yeah, we could use him. We could use him to defend. Hmm. Wait a second. Uh, I think I made a mistake. I made a mistake in my guide. I put the Jade Carver alongside Builder and um, Brewer, but in fact, Jade Carver has a different skill tree. I must have saved the wrong image file. So I classify them together when in fact they shouldn't be classified together. Okay, I'll make a min-min to it in my other guides. Anyways, builders. We need a little bit higher level builders, basically. Builders and brewers. Alright, we could potentially build an army around him. Um... Philosophers, yeah. Philosophers, I don't know, they're not very good. They're decent. They have recovery. We could put him out. Okay, so we have a general idea who we might want to recruit as an army. Let's not do it this turn. Because I feel like we also are close to hitting our limit, so we can only recruit one unit out. That def kind of defeats the purpose. So let's just continue. I mean, Hei, we want to have you, but Gongdu doesn't like you. Ah, Hei got destroyed. Does this mean? Oh, here comes all his characters. He Man, Hei. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Welcome to the party. Where's He Man? All right. We're gonna grab some of the. We're probably gonna grab most of these, actually. They're all high level, and they all have items. Uh, oh, we also. He died. Hmm. Anyways, uh, let's look how much money we have. We have 6,000 more. We can pick up six characters. There's eight here. We'll start with the ones with items. Or upgraded armors. And then we can grab two more this turn. I prefer scholars. They have more passive bonuses on them. And then we can just pick one. Doesn't really matter which one, to be honest. They bring the same bonuses. Oh, it should be someone in the army, though. Because there's a local effect as well, wherever they are at. Then maybe her? Just because she's on the field. This could also be another reason why they're dying. Cheng. There we go. Ooh, she also got married. Chai Pi? Interesting. Okay, we'll have that active first. We got an artisan. Nice. Give it to the administrator here. Uh, where are you? Okay. You can have 10% instead of 5%. And then the 5% can go to our other administrator. In Taishan. Or actually Pingyuan. Pingyuan has the more. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're going to organize all our characters next episode. I think uh, we're going to 
have a fight over here. As you can see, Xu Huang has led an army over. That's why this is more of a threat. We need to come back over here. They are not sieging yet. There's a big army coming, but we're replenishing really fast thanks to um, our mustering turn and also um, our forge building. So we should be able to hold the city against this army. I might even challenge him now to avoid the siege or move it outside to not get sieged. Uh, we're waiting for them to show up on the field. Let's see, what else can we do? The Sun Tzu is going for the fishing port. Nothing we can do about that. That means the city is exposed soon. So Huang Shao's job would be wiping out this army and go defend the city. Their job is just to hold this city. And over here, we're just going to do our best to fight this army off. Uh, we're going to leave the city real quick, let them siege, and then come after it afterwards. Here, we're also waiting for them to do the same thing. And that's going to be the gist of our strategy going forward. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you next time as we employ He Yi's man onto the field. Bye!